Hundred. You asked me in your recent letter uh, where you uh, requested a, a look at my workplace, namely the program room and into like cable. So uh, a little while ago at work, I put together a little uh, tour of it that I thought you might enjoy seeing. So anyway, here it is. Greetings, Jason, and welcome to my workplace. Yes, this is it, the program room, the program room of Interlake Cable TV Limited. I just can't really see very much of it from the camera angle where you are right now, but uh, I'll show you all the neat gadgets in a minute. It is Tuesday, December 10th, 1991. I ordered Space Ace last Wednesday. Uh, I should be getting it uh, any day now. I'm expecting the place, the computer place I ordered it from, to call anytime and uh, let me know that they have it. Uh, it usually takes about a week. It's been six days. So, uh, Dragon's Lair. My father has decided to get uh, Dragon's Lair 1 and 2 for me for Christmas. He told me that more about that. Um, so you should be seeing those before too long. Hopefully before even this video letter is over. You'll be able to see one of them. You'll be able to see Space Ace at least. Uh, which I hope to be getting any time. Maybe even today, who knows. Um, anyway, the uh, little video effect you just saw with me uh, beaming in Alice Star Trek, that was courtesy of the uh, video toaster from New Tech. Now you can do a variety of, uh, of digital effects and uh, fades and wipes and so forth. Uh, actually, I could demonstrate some of them right now, if you like. Just let me uh, load up a frame here. So we'll have something to... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Uh, no, that's not me. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, wait a minute. Sorry, something's screwing up here. I'm sorry if that's a little hard on your eyes there. Okay, there we go. Hey. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, hang on, let's take the freeze off. Oh, what the hell? It's not supposed to be doing that. Sorry, I'm rather new to this toaster thing. Uh, just beginning to figure it out, really. Whoa! 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 Here's a way to lose weight for you. Hi! Hi! Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just go back and forth from black. What the hell? Ooh, cool. Rather freaky there, I must say. Let's take a look at it on auto. Ooh. Pretty wild. Mm, nice. And got this one. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure what this one is. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, here's a whip. If I could get this bloody thing to work properly. Wonderful, I'm frozen again. Um, okay. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Okay, as you can see, we have a dissolve as well, which is quite nice. Okay. Every time I take the freeze off, it does that. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? Oh, wonderful. I accidentally freezed a frame of myself. <laughs> well, as you may have guessed, uh, that's only a uh, sampling of the many, many things it can do. There are a countless number of things. You can develop your own wipes if you want to. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, though. Um, that's just one of the many things it can do. It can also do titles. I think you should find this one rather amusing. 
Here, check this out. Now you should see the titles overlaid. Going at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Something I wrote when I was bored. Scratch my nose. Ah, yes, that's much better. Thank you. Crawls have many uh, purposes. <laughs> hey, here's a little uh, little blurb about the toaster. Try to duck underneath when one of the spaces comes up. There we go. Okay. Whoop. Oops. Right into denial. Whoops. Oh. Well. Oh, you can overlay them. What do you know? Pretty nice, eh? That's all you get to see for now. I will have to wait till the end of the video letter to see the remainder of the titles. Okay, now, enough of my showing off uh, the new toy here. Uh, you want to see the uh, program room, so I will show you. This, as you've no doubt guessed by now, is our editor. It is the Sony EVO 720 8mm editor, uh, capable of recording in uh, pulse code modulation stereo and the whole works. Hmm. Well, I'm not so sure about. I can't remember what's on that tape. Just hang on a second. I'm sure you're all familiar with this stuff. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I can't show you that part yet. <laughs> it would spoil the end of the video toaster demo, which I'm sure you'll want to see, so I'll include it on my next video later to you. As you can see, it has a uh, still frame. You can move ahead one frame at a time move it backwards at normal speed with sound. Great for playing backmasked songs backwards, I'm sure you'll agree. Just take them on the 8mm, bring them in here, run them backwards to find out what the secret message is. Um, go a few frames at a time or whatever. You got your fast scan and your super fast scan. And back to pause. That video, by the way, is done entirely with the video toaster. You can also do uh, 3D objects and, and stuff. 3D being like. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, 3D being stuff like that, eh? Like the Earth there. And stuff like that where you can move all around the objects and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, not your data screen. Uh, has time code capabilities as well. You can program in a series of edits, and uh, as long as the tape is time coded, you can program the uh, machine to only record certain segments of it on the on the final tape. So basically, you just program in the segments you want edited. Press the edit button, and this little baby does it all for you. Quite nice. This is the video toaster uh, switcher. 
as you can see, it has the uh, little. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Okay. The picture was shaking a little there. I'm sure you noticed. Uh, it's rather cool. You just it's basically just a matter of pointing a button, and uh, it'll do what you want it to do. Like uh, pull down the switch there at whatever speed you want, or you can select automatic, uh, slow, medium, or fast. So you want that effect. You want it slow. So see, it does it for you. And uh, for other effects, it gives you a little graphics display of what the effect does. You see the actual effect on your other monitor. Uh, you need three monitors to use the video toaster. You can use two, but uh, three is recommended. Okay, so that's basically it. See it has, uh, this is, I forget what this is. Uh, this is a toaster paint, basically a doodle program, but uh, very useful. You can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, character generator, which is what I used to uh, create all those titles you saw. And 3D has two parts to it. It's called Lightwave 3D. Uh, the first part is the 3D modeler, which allows you to make uh, 3D objects. And then uh, there's just plain old ordinary Lightwave 3D, which lets you animate your 3D objects first in wireframe, and then rendering them with full color and depth and shadows and backgrounds and everything. It's cool. And this here is the uh, frame store. I've got a few uh, frames in there. That one's built in. That one's built in. That's something I did for a play I filmed of Mindy's. Uh, that too. And these two you'll see uh, in your video letters. The yeah, Dragon's Lair title and the Space Ace title. CG page. That's just a little experiment thing I was doing. Actually, I accidentally saved it over the, vi uh, over the video toaster logo. So now, CG page comes up whenever you boot up the program instead of the video toaster title page. Oh well. Such is the uh, ways of learning. We learn by trial and error, as I'm sure you know. Um, I pretty well got the hang of most of the basics here. Like I got the neat little transporter effect. That I just figured out today, actually. Uh, the old Star Trek thing. Uh, which is rather cool. Uh, this is the Amiga 2000. This is what I want to get. Uh, I have exclusive use of it basically until I get my own, which is rather nice. I'm becoming the, uh, the cable office's resident uh, video toaster expert right now. Uh, I don't really do any actual quote unquote work here, I just mainly have fun. And uh, edit home movies and uh, in this case video letters. I'm doing this here obviously. Oh, well, I'm doing it in my apartment, I just built a set. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so I thought you might find this interesting. Uh, got your, everything in there. Uh, this isn't hooked up right now, I have to take it out. Oh, there's 9 megabytes of RAM in there. Uh, there was also a PC bridge board, which I don't know if you know what all this stuff means, and I don't know how big you are into computers. Uh, PC bridge board basically gives the, it makes the Amiga IBM compatible. Uh, but it was draining from the uh, the RAM memory, and the video toaster requires a lot of RAM to run. So I uh, took the PC board out because it was draining four megabytes of RAM, uh, even when it wasn't used. So the video toaster was only able to use five, which is like the bare minimum. So anyway, so I pl pulled that out and uh, had to disconnect this. Actually, it felt kind of nice poking around inside the computer. This is a very easily expandable computer. Uh, eight expansion slots. It uh, felt kind of good me poking around in there because I got to figure out what was wrong and everything. It was rather nice. Uh, let's see what's next. I guess all the basics. Okay. Basics coming up. There's uh, an Olivetti computer, the monitor. It's hands off for me. Besides, it's just to use for business stuff anyway. No big deal to me. Uh, digital VHS high fidelity uh, stereo uh, VCR. Uh, it's beta, I believe. I think. I'm not sure. Or I don't know if we have a beta machine anymore. Yeah, that's a beta machine. And up there is uh, an 8mm deck, which is rather nice. Wouldn't mind getting one of those myself, and I can do editing at home. Uh, this is the stereo where they put the elevator music on the uh, on the weather channel here. The community channel speaker there. What's that? Oh, TV. No big deal. 
Uh, right now we're airing the House of Commons. Actually, it should be off the air right now. If you just hang on a second, I'll show you how we take programs off the air. And you see that little baby there? Nice and simple. It used to be a lot more complicated than that. Now it's just a matter of pressing this button, and it goes off the air. Here, I'll show you. Remember which button I showed you? Now watch that TV there. And you'll see the little TV on the right there. That's uh, where it's coming in from. Now we don't have this on tape or anything. This is being broadcast live. This is the House of Commons. Uh, just hang on a second. And there you have it. And there's the Weather Channel. I think that's basically it. Oh, yeah. And, uh... You know, oh, that's, uh... They use that computer for the, uh, crawl at the bottom of the Weather Channel. As you can see right there. See? That computer basically exclusively does crawls. Uh, nice ghetto blaster there. CD and everything. Uh, and down there is an Atari ST. See? An Atari 1040 ST. Nice little computer. Amiga is still my favorite though, by far. Much more user friendly than most computers I find. With the exception of course of the Macs. Oh, okay. Um, another uh, VCR. That's exactly the same kind of VCR that I have at home. I'm sure you'll recognize it. And two more 8mm decks. Uh, some kind of converter thing, I don't really know what it does. Nice kinky number on there too. And of course, what a, what room would be complete without the clock to tell you what time, what time to go home, what time to have lunch, etc. Well, that about wraps up this video letter. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so now you've seen my uh, my workplace, as per your request. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was my pleasure to show you. And uh, as I churn out more stuff on the video toaster, I'll be sure to let you know uh, and, and uh, show you. So until next time around, goodbye. Wondering what all the noise in the background is. Mindy is playing uh, Monopoly with her brother Cam. Hi, Jason. Um. Anyway, uh, there you go. There's my workplace. Uh, as for Space Ace, I got it. One moment.